MMOs are the most commonly searched game type and mobile gaming is the biggest gaming platform in the world. 2024 has some really exciting games coming out, some of which few people know about. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the top 10 mobile MMOs of 2024. The first game on our list is Vendetta Online, a 3D MMO RPG that offers players the opportunity to explore a vast online universe as spaceship pilots. This cross-platform game enables thousands of players to interact in real time, building their characters as they see fit, whether as captains of industry, military heroes, or outlaws. The game features a fast-paced, real-time Twitch combat model that delivers intense action combined with RPG gameplay set against the backdrop of a massive, persistent online galaxy. In Vendetta Online, players are part of a delicate balance of power among three major factions, with several NPC sub-factions contributing to economic struggles, political intrigue, and conflict. This complexity, coupled with a detailed storyline, creates a deeply immersive experience. The second game on our list is Hero of Etheric, a retro-inspired game. As you delve into the fantasy world of Etheric, you'll embark on an ever-evolving adventure filled with exploration, combat, and loot. In this classic MMORPG, you'll assume the the role of a customizable bit hero, engaging in turn-based battles and collecting valuable treasures along the way. Establish your origin town as a home base and set out on an epic quest across the handcrafted 8-bit world of Aetheric. Whether you choose to adventure solo or with friends, the game offers a wealth of multiplayer options, from battling in the arena to delving into dungeons with your party. With over 100 unique classes, gear, and specializations, you'll have the freedom to tailor your RPG adventure to suit your preferred playstyle. The third game on our list is Curse of Eros, a pixelated MMORPG that offers players a comprehensive control over their character as they navigate through a vast magical world. This game invites players to engage with others, hunt for items, explore dungeons, confront various monsters, and participate in a multitude of other immersive tasks. Players can engage in real-time PvP and PvE battles, featuring a simplistic combat system which lacks weapon and combat abilities. This design choice keeps the gameplay dynamic through short fights and ensures that combat remains fresh and exciting. Players must rely on strategy and quick reflexes to overcome their adversaries. The fourth game on our list is Moko, an upcoming game by Supercell, the studio's monster hunting entry into the popular genre. The main task is to hunt for unique creatures in the wild, but the challenge lies in facing these creatures head on, serving as the ultimate test of strength and skill. One distinctive feature that sets Mo.co apart is his embrace of open world hunting. Players are granted the freedom to roam expansive landscapes, providing an immersive experience as they search for creatures to engage in battle. Adding an extra layer of excitement to the gameplay, Mo.co introduces dungeon raids. These daring missions plunge players into perilous environments, demanding strategic thinking and combat prowess. Navigating through these challenging dungeons becomes a thrilling aspect of the game, promising valuable rewards for those who dare to face the dangers within. The fifth game on our list is Tales Tales of Yore. Set in an open world fantasy MMORPG, the land of Yore provides an enchanting environment filled with challenges and boundless rewards. Players can immerse themselves in a growing community, level up life skills, and craft various items, from armor to house decorations. Combat in Tales of Yore is both dynamic and challenging. Players can fight solo or with friends against enemies that lurk around the land, aiming to steal hard-earned gold. The game also features a hardcore mode for those seeking an adrenaline and pumping experience, where characters get only one chance to survive. Beyond battles, players can enjoy gathering, crafting, and decorating. Life skills such as fishing, mining, and chopping trees can be leveled up alongside the character level. The game also includes a variety of puzzles and quests, offering hints and challenges to adventurous players. The sixth game on our list is Terraceland, a 3D MMORPG developed by Tencent, offering players a rich and expansive gaming experience. Set in a massive world teeming with diverse biomes and an engaging storyline, Terraceland grants players the freedom to choose from a variety of races, each endowed with unique skills and abilities. The game places a strong emphasis on customization, empowering you to fully personalize your character by selecting from a wide range of customizable classes. Players can choose from 9 classes and 18 specializations, allowing for a wide range of character builds. Raiding with groups to defeat formidable bosses is a core aspect of Terraceland's gameplay, harkening back to the class 
classic raid and dungeon experiences of MMORPGs. Exploration is a key feature of Terrace Land, with players embarking on unique adventures as they traverse the vast game world. The seventh game on our list is Albion Online, a sandbox MMORPG set in an expansive medieval fantasy world. The game emphasizes a player-driven economy, where nearly every item is crafted by the players themselves. This unique feature allows players to combine armor pieces and weapons to suit their individual playstyle through a classless you are what you wear system. Players can experiment with new equipment and adapt their tactics to suit any situation. The game features high risk, high reward PvP combat. Players can test their skills against other adventures in full loot fights, ranging from solo encounters to large scale battles. Strategy, tactics, and skill are essential for success. Combat specializations can be leveled up, unique builds created, and various tools used to achieve victory. Guilds play a crucial role in Albion Online, enabling players to conquer the world together. Guild members can claim territories for access to valuable resources, construct guild halls, build hideouts, and track their progress on global leaderboards. The game offers a variety of challenges, from small scouting bands to massive bosses, each requiring different strategies. Players can engage with six different factions, each with unique enemies. The eighth game on our list is Arena Breakout, a tactical first-person shooter with MMO and RPG elements to it. The core gameplay of Arena Breakout revolves around shooting, looting, and securing extraction points. Victory is achieved not by eliminating all opponents, but by ensuring a successful extraction with your loot. Whether engaging in combat or seeking cover, players must strategize their approach to break out from the dark zone, where the stakes are all or nothing. The combat experience is heightened by realistic firefights, dynamic weather effects, and an over-the-top realism. An example of this realism can be found in the injury system, where actions like jumping from heights can lead to broken limbs, causing the affected leg to be rendered unusable. The developers have dedicated significant attention to physical details, even replicating acute physical behaviors such as pain and hunger. Moreover, Arena Breakout implements distinct injury systems for each body part, showcasing damage exclusively on the affected area. The ninth game on our list is Aurora, an upcoming MMORPG which was originally called Outerland. Aurora takes you on a space survival adventure, immersing you in a sandbox experience. The game's immense potential has garnered significant attention, leading to its acquisition by Tencent, who now spearheads the project. Now this game still has a lot of work. When I played it in its second closed beta, I said it might be the buggiest game I have ever played. But honestly, between how amazing the concept is and Tencent's vast amount of resources to work on it mixed with their proclivity for excellence, I had to put it towards the top of this list. In the true fashion of survival games, Aurora embarks players on a mission to gather resources and construct their bases upon landing their spaceships. The game's solar system boasts an impressive array of five distinct planet types, including an intriguing underwater planet, hinting at the developer's vision of seamlessly blending PvE and PvP encounters. However, Aurora doesn't stop there. Almost every animal in the game can be tamed and used as a mount, adding a fascinating layer of interaction with the environment. The tenth game on our list is Skylore Online, a classic fantasy MMO characterized by flexible character development, captivating storylines, and immersive open world exploration. Players can engage in real-time PvP and PvE battles, tackle challenging quests, and interact with fellow adventurers from across the globe. With the freedom to create their own hero, players can experiment with different races, classes, talents, abilities, and equipment to forge a character uniquely suited to their playstyle. In Skylore, multiplayer combat takes center stage, offering various modes for players to showcase their skills and teamwork. From dungeon raids against formidable monsters to fast-paced PvE challenges, there's no shortage of thrilling encounters to be had. Well, that's it guys, hope that helps. If a game is not on here that you think should be on here, it is probably because I put it in a different genre, like perhaps adventure games or RPGs. In reality, MMOs can bleed into so many other categories, so I might have put them in another video. Most of those videos are already out, and you can see them in this playlist. All right guys, I'll see you next time. <laughs>